Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bullock here. Uh, this lesson is on solving quadratics using the quadratic formula. I get to sing to you in this video. Okay, the quadratic formula is this. So the solutions to uh, any quadratic equation, so uh, of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, has to equal zero, is this. x equals, and I used to say it like this, the numerator, because there's a fraction, opposite b, plus or minus, square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Well, check this out, you guys. I can do it like this. Okay, ready? x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Pretty slipped, huh? Let's try it again. x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. One more time x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Dun -dun -dun. Now if you don't like that, check this out you guys. Okay, ready? Some negative boy couldn't decide on whether to go to a radical party or to b square and miss out on four awesome chicks. The party was over at 2 a.m. Okay, whatever. Whatever helps you memorize that you guys. Um, okay, so use the quadratic form to solve the equation. Here's number one right here. Okay, remember it has to equal zero, so I'm going to subtract three from both sides. So a is one, because there's no number there. B is negative two, C is negative three. You have to watch the negatives. Kids think they can do this, and they they just get I I get lost on the negatives, you guys. So you guys do too. All right. So here, opposite this negative two is positive two, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative two squared minus 4 times a times c, remember c is negative, all over 2a. Alright, so here we go. I get uh, this is 4, this becomes a negative times a negative is a plus, so it's plus 12, 4 plus 12 is 16, so 2 plus or minus the square root of 16, which is 4, all over 2. So it becomes 2 plus 4 over 2, or 2 minus 4 over 2, because it's plus or minus. 2 plus 4 is 6, over 2 is 3, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, or 2 is negative 1. So 3 or negative 1 is the answer. All right, let's try it with this one. Again, we've got to make it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract x and subtract 6 from this 4. So it's going to be a minus 2 right there. All right, so there we go. And then I'm going to use the quadratic formula. And when if you do it right, you get 1 plus or minus root 41 all over 10. Isn't that a beauty? Okay, uh, this guy right here. Let's try this. Okay, this already equals 0. So uh, let's see. I get uh, that right there. Uh, and I get uh, that right there, and square root of a negative number, there's no such thing, at least not in Algebra 1, you guys. In Algebra 2, we do. So right, when it, right there, when you get the square root of a negative number, the answer is no solution, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's see what else I got for you. Okay, so which method to use on solving quadratics? I would use the quadratic formula as a last resort, you guys. A lot of kids say they're going to do the whole test on using the quadratic formula. Well, their grade's going to suck, you guys, because they're going to they're gonna lose the negatives and stuff. So just be careful, you guys. If you can factor it, man, it goes really easy. Let me show you that example, that first one we did. There it is right there. Okay? And then right here, look at this. This factors, you guys. Factors of negative 3 that add to negative 2 are negative 3 times a positive 1. Boom! Look, x minus 3, x plus 1. Look, so set this factor equal to 0, I get x equals 3. Set this factor equal to 0, I get x equals negative 1. Look at this messy stuff when we did the quadratic formula. Blah! Man, I wouldn't do that. Not if I can factor, you guys. Factoring is the ticket. I wouldn't do that. Okay, so second thing is, is I would do if I would do square roots if it's in the form of like x squared equals, um, uh, say, like uh, 15. Then x would be plus or minus the square root of 15. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, completing the square, I would only complete the square if it's a 1 right in front of there and if that's even. Okay, otherwise I wouldn't do it. Okay, and then if all else fails, I'd go ahead and use the quadratic formula. Okay. So let's try some. So solve using any method. All right. Can you think of any factors of 39 that add to 16, you guys? Well, I can. 13 times 3, so it's negative 13 times negative 3. So set that factor equal to 0, set that factor equal to 0, and boom, you're done. Okay. Can you see the mess you'd make if you got to use the quadratic formula on that? Okay. How about this? Does this factor, factors of 5 that add to negative 10? No. But since that's 1, and since that's even, I would complete the square with this. So you put the 5 on the other side, 
half a 10 is 5, 5 squared is 25, so I'm going to add a red 25 to both sides. Okay, if you got the hang of this, you guys, um, completing the square goes really fast. The left factors to x minus 5 squared, it's always this sign goes in the middle, square to that's that. And this side equals this side equals 20. Now I can square root both sides, so plus or minus the square root of 20. And 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. So when you add 5 to both sides, you get x equals 5 plus or minus 2 root 5. All right, complete the square is the snap, you guys. Okay, this one, this one factors, you guys. In chapter 9, I showed you smiley face factoring. 15 times 4 equals 60. Factors of 60 that add to negative 16 are negative 10 times a negative 6. So I'm going to rewrite that polynomial, replacing this negative 16x with negative 10x and negative 6x. And then I'm going to factor this dude by grouping. Okay? I know there's some teachers that don't like uh, this. They like guessing and checking. Well, frankly, I suck at guessing and checking, and this way I can always do it. Factoring by grouping. I can group. I can GCF out of these two guys a 5x. Out of these two guys, I always pull this sign out. Since I pulled a negative out, it's going to change this positive to a negative. And 2 goes into both those guys. Now just think, you guys, if I redistributed this negative 2 through, I get negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 2 would get me that positive 4. Okay, so when I pull the negative out, it's going to change the sign in there. All right, then check it out. They both have a blue 3x minus 2. So I'm going to pull that 3x minus 2 out of both of them. There it is right there. And I'm left with the red stuff, 5x minus 2. Set this factor equal to zero, set this factor equal to zero, and wing, bang, boom, there you go. You get two-thirds and uh, two-fifths. All right? All right, this guy right here. All right, so let's see. Factors of, let's see, that's negative 32. I can't think of any, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula because that's not one, and that's not an even number, so this one's a totally quadratic formula. Okay, so there we go, and then add them up, and then... Um, it's probably hard to see. 153. These guys add up to 153. 1 plus 5 is 8. Plus, uh, I'm sorry. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 3 is 9. This adds up to 9. So I knew 9 went into that. Okay. Remember the the division of 9 rule. If the, if the digits add up to 9, then 9 goes into it. Same goes for 3. So I knew 9 went into it. So it's 9 times 17. So 3 times 3 times 17. So a pair of threes come out. And then, um, and so there's my final answer right there. Okay, good job, you guys.